BMW. For many, just cause. For others, a religion. The BMW 2 Series replaces the 1 Series Coupe. And of course, the 2 Series Convertible replaces the 1 Series Convertible. Now, the 2 Series is a radical departure from the 1 Series in terms of styling. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. It's a little wider and a little longer, but it also looks that way. Because take a look at this line that runs from the front wheel right down, parallel with the ground, and runs around the end. Now, that makes it look a lot longer than what it actually is. Keeping that line running around the back means that it looks wider as well. This chrome strip that runs from the front all the way around the back, and with the roof down, this rolled deck lid makes it look like the deck of a yacht. Around the back, you've got some more styling cues to make it look wider. That aforementioned line that runs all the way around. But this deck lid line makes it look wider as well, as do the flat tail lines. That not only makes it look wider, but it's a bit of a nod to the iconic 2002. How many small convertibles will have a folding hard top? Not the 2 Series. The 2 Series has a folding soft top and is definitely its party piece. It takes a mere 20 seconds to either drop the top or to put it back up again. And you can do this up to speeds of 50 kilometers an hour, which means that you're not going to get caught out in the rain. Now we've got the 220 here, and this is the smallest one in the 2 Series convertible range. It's powered by a 2 litre 4 cylinder turbocharged motor. It makes 135 kilowatts, 270 newton meters of torque. Now it's not going to win any races, but it will keep you entertained. And it's going to help you out by being a little lighter on fuel than a big 6 cylinder. Now the N20 motor that this one is running replaces the naturally aspirated N52 straight 6 motors. BMW says that it's going to return figures of around 6.5 on the combined cycle. Realistically, you're going to get it closer to 9. The interior of the 220i is a typical BMW affair of driver orientated ergonomics. With some of the options checked, you get a nice thick, chunky steering wheel, of course, wrapped in leather with the M badge on it, form fitting, electrically adjustable seats with a memory function. But for me, it's the classic typeface on the gauges, which is another nod back to the 2002, a bit of a classic heirloom. Now the 2 Series is by no means a big car and some drivers may find it a little cramped in fact, especially in the driving area. Now I'm no husky man myself, but those a little beefier may just find it a little too cosseting. Sadly the BMW 2 Series is not a cheap car. At 486,500 for the base model, it's for the well heeled only. Throw in a couple of creature comforts, including the M Sport package with the wheels and the suspension, and you're looking at closer to 640,000 Rand for the vehicle as we've tested it here.